I have this 15 inch wood round. I get these from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to paint the entire thing using some Wise Owl Snow Owl. Now this does have a raised edge around the entire circle. Once that dried, I then went in with some Wise Owl Goldenrod and I'm just going to do the raised edge in Goldenrod. And I'm going to allow that to fully dry. I found this square glass cutting board from the Dollar Tree. It says thankful and blessed on it. I love the pattern and the colors and I'm going to glue that down in the center of my circle. They also had a circular one, but I preferred the square. I have a bunch of different sunflower stickers and cutouts that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to place them around my glass cutting board. You can randomly place them down. And what I like about these stickers is they have a clear backside, so you can't really tell that it's a sticker. And I'm going to glue the sunflower cutouts down. I'm going to be using this amazing clear cast epoxy. I get this from Hobby Lobby. And you want to mix equal parts of part A and part B. I like to use these red solo cups for bigger projects and I use the lines on the inside for my measurements. Once I have equal parts, I'm then going to mix both parts together and you want to stir this for three to five minutes. It really depends on the brand of epoxy you are using. Once stirred well, I'm then going to go back to my project and I'm going to pour it down into my tray. Now here I want to make sure that I do not pour onto my glass cutting board and that I do not pour more than the height of the cutting board because I want to still be able to use the cutting board when this is all dry. Now this is also going to help hold the cutting board in place as the hot glue would probably not hold it. I then take my embossing tool I get this from Michaels and this just helps pop all those tiny little air bubbles. You want that to sit overnight, at least overnight, even 24 hours. I have these handles that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to place one on the left and one on the right side. I'm using my tape measure to help guide me with the placement. I'm just using my handheld drill here to pre-drill and then I'm going to go in with some screws and screw my handles down on my tray. Now every other week Hobby Lobby has their handles and knobs 50% off. So if you hit Hobby Lobby at the right time, I got these handles for $2. And there you go. Now we have this really cute, thankful, blessed tray. You can also use that as a wall hanging. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.